Hello Minglaba and welcome back to the channel food lovers. Today I have you a summertime drink that's also a dessert. It's popular in India, Pakistan, Burma and even in Iran and it's called Faluda. You guys are probably familiar with bubble tea which is a modern drink that was derived from Faluda but trust me Faluda is way better than bubble tea. Faluda itself started out as a dish called Falude from ancient Persia or Iran as it's now called. This is a dish consisting of vermicelli noodles served in a rosewater flavoured syrup. From Persia, it spread towards South Asia, becoming more of a milk based drink. Each country makes it differently, but the common ingredient is a pink coloured rose flavoured syrup milk base. To it, you can add any dessert ingredient you wish, but common ones include crushed ice or ice cream, jelly, tapioca pearls and basil seeds. I'm going to show you how to make the Burmese version of the drink, which I also believe is one of the best. The way it differs to other versions is the addition of a secret ingredient which elevates this drink to another level. And that secret ingredient is bread pudding. I don't know how bread pudding has ended up being a part of Burmese faluda, as Burmese people are generally not bread eaters. Let me know if anyone has any ideas. So let's begin by making the bread pudding and here's a list of the ingredients you will need. 4 slices of white bread 3 eggs 3 tablespoons of sugar 100 millilitres of milk Ok, now that we have the ingredients for the bread pudding, let's start the process of making it. Bread pudding is essentially bread covered in a delicious custard mixture and baked in the oven. So we'll begin by cutting off the crusts. Don't throw away the crusts. You can use them to feed the ducks with. No, actually don't, because I just remembered that you're not supposed to feed bread to ducks because it swells in their stomachs. Just eat the crusts yourself. When that's done, then cut the bread into small pieces and place them in an oven proof dish. And then set aside because we're now ready to make the custard mixture. To do that, we just need to add the milk, sugar and eggs into a bowl and mix. When the mixture eventually ends up looking yellowy and custardy, then pour over the bread and bake in a hot oven for about 30 minutes. When the bread pudding is cooked, it will come out looking golden, and it may have even puffed up a bit. It will eventually go down as the air leaves. Doesn't that look delicious? You can try a bit of it if you want to, just a small bit though. How is it? Does it taste good? All right, we need to set it aside and let it cool. We're now going to make the faluda drink itself. As I mentioned earlier, the basic ingredients for the faluda is milk, rose syrup, basil seeds, jelly, and vermicelli noodles. This can seem like a lot of ingredients, especially if you're only going to be making this drink once in a while. So we're going to be using a Faluda kit. This is the Faluda kit that I will be using. You can find this brand or other similar brands in your local Asian grocery store. This will contain most of the dry ingredients that we'll need. We're going to make the Faluda according to the packet's instructions. Usually this means adding milk and water. So the only remaining ingredient that we're going to need is ice cream. Usually the flavour ice cream that you use is just plain vanilla, but I found this unusual bubblegum flavour in my local supermarket. So I'm going to use this to make unicorn faluda because of the unusual colour. Of course, if you can't find this bubblegum flavour ice cream, vanilla or your favourite ice cream flavour will do. So let's open up the faluda kit and see what's inside. We're going to make it according to the maker's instructions. This box contains two sachets of mix. The first smaller packet is for making jelly. Then the larger packet contains the vermicelli noodles 
basil seeds, pistachio seeds, and the rose syrup flavoring to making the Faluda drink itself. Let's make the jelly now. I've emptied the jelly mix into a bowl already, and I only have to pour in a cup of boiling water to make it. So let's do that. Give it a good mix and leave to cool. Finally, we can make the Faluda drink. So we just empty the contents of the large packet into a pan. And to rehydrate it, you just need to add a pint of milk and a glass of water. You end up with this beautiful bright pink liquid. The Faluda liquid then has to be heated up in the pan until the vermicelli noodles have become soft like shown here. So that's the cooking done with and we just leave the liquid to cool for a few hours. When the liquid's cool we can begin the fun task of assembling the Faluda. I'm going to make two glasses of the dessert here. On the left I'm going to make the Burmese Faluda with vanilla ice cream. In the right glass, I'm going to top it off with a bubblegum ice cream and I'm going to call this Unicorn Faluda. So the first thing is to add jelly to the bottom of the glass. Now for the second layer and that is to add the bread pudding We then pour in the Faluda milk into the glass. Make sure that you ladle in the vermicelli noodles and the basil seeds in there too. Just one other thing, don't fill it all the way to the top because we're going to top it off with some ice cream. Then of course serve by adding in a straw and one of those long handled ice cream spoons. There now follows a warning, in the next scene gratuitous close up shots will be shown. Those with an excitable disposition should look away now. Okay so now for the moment of truth. Let's see how this tastes. And here's my verdict on the Burmese Faluda. The Burmese phrase for today is Era Zeji Dala. That means, is that expensive? So that's once more Era Zeji Dala. Okay, so let's break this down. Era means that. Zeiji means expensive. Dala means is it. So once more, Era, Zeiji Dala. So thanks for watching today's recipe, guys. And remember, if you want to know how to say any further Burmese phrases or know how to make any other Burmese recipes, then leave it in the comments below. And I'll catch you next time.